Hello all and welcome to this demo on Amazon Comprehend. Before we continue further ahead, I would like everyone to know that all texts used in this demo are for reference purposes only and I do not own or claim copyright for them. Prerequisite for this demo is knowledge of Amazon Comprehend. So in case you are not aware of what this service is all about, please refer to this overview tutorial that I had created some time back. Link to the tutorial is mentioned right there at the bottom. This is Amazon Comprehend, right? So this is the landing page if you come here. And we have two versions for this. Right, so we have the regular version and the medical version. So let us begin this demo with the standard version of Amazon Comprehend. So click on launch Amazon Comprehend. And that's what brings you here. So what are we going to do today? We are going to analyze a few pieces of text. So the first text that I have for today is a letter of recommendation. And this is the letter right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it, right? And then I'm going to go here. I'm going to say that I want to analyze this piece of text, right? And I'm going to use the built-in analysis. I'm going to copy this text right here. So this is a sample text that you see, right? So if you go to your Amazon Comprehend landing page, you will see the very same text that you are seeing right now. So I'm going to delete this text and copy our text right here. And then click on analyze. So let's see what are the results for this particular text. So it shows us that there are a few entities, which is good. So they are right there at the bottom, as you see, right? So it recognizes as, as an organization, there's a person's name, there's some date information. Then let's see if it recognizes any key phases. So this is a letter of recommendation. So it's telling us that Gina is a tremendous student. She's definitely a huge asset to the school. She's someone who takes charge. She has leadership skills. She has a lot of uh, you know, recommendations and whoever has written this is also providing a high recommendation for her. She has abilities to drive and will be an asset to the organization, right? and her grades are well exceeded in the class. So this is pretty good. So it kind of, if you scroll down, it basically told you that these are some of the key phases in this particular piece of text. Now let us look at the language. It is confident that the language is English, 0.99% confidence, which is good. Let's see if there's PII information. So the only PII information that I think it picked up is the name of the person, which is decent. Now, remember that this is a letter of recommendation. So the sentiment for this letter is expected to be positive. So if you see over here, we have a positive sentiment and it is confident 0.99%. Awesome. And if there is any syntax or anything of that sort, again, I think it's just a proper noun, etc. So I believe it did a decent analysis for this particular piece of text, right? It picked up the right sentiment, it picked up the key entities, it picked up the right language. There's not much of PII, but it did pick up some of the key phrases that were present in this particular piece of text. Okay, so this was the first example. Now let us move on to the next one. The next example that I have is a negative customer review. Okay, and this is actually one of the real reviews. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it right here. Now let's see what this has to say about this particular review. So click on analyze and let's see what it has. Does it have any entities? So it does not have any entities. That's because I, I removed some uh, critical information. Key phrases, so it does say, it's the worst customer service, they need to be shut down. She's gonna contact for non-authorized charges, you know, the bank, or maybe make a claim over there. What's the language? It's English, that's decent. 
is there any PI information? There is no PI information because I removed some of the relevant information from this piece of text. Let's look at the sentiment. Now, remember that this is a negative feedback and what we're expecting is a negative sentiment. So it is, it is positive or it is confident that it is a negative sentiment. And if there is any syntax, let's see, uh, just a few adjectives, nouns, et cetera, which is decent. So I guess it did a decent analysis for this particular piece of text. Okay, so these were two standard texts that I had. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back to comprehend and we are going to leverage this medical version because the next piece of text that I have is actually from a clinical trial report, right? So what you see here right now, this is the default text or the sample text that comes with Comprehend. And it will, you will also have the same text available to you when you go to your Amazon Comprehend Medical. And what we are going to do is, we are actually going to pick up this information. This is from one of the clinical trial studies and see what it has to say, right? This was a recent clinical trial study that was performed, right? I'm gonna copy it right here, paste it there, and then analyze it. So let's see what it has to say. Okay, I'm gonna clear text. Don't think it liked it. Okay, analyze. Sometimes I don't know what happens to this. Okay, let me just refresh it. So this is a bug, guys, right? I mean, for some reason or the other, it just freezes on me and I do not know why. But hey, guess what? We discovered a bug. So I'm going to refresh the page. I'm going to clear the text. I'm going to paste it right there and click on analyze. Okay, started working, great. Okay, so it picked up a couple of entities. So of course there are some names of drugs over here, some diseases, as you see pneumonia, plus stream infections, bacteria, urinary tract infections. There are some additional, I don't know, maybe some additional pneumonia information or some abdominal infection information over there. Okay, not that I'm super excited about any of these diseases, so I'm gonna kind of move away from it. Let's see if there's any Rx over here. Okay, so we have two Rx's. I think these are some two medications that were probably found effective against whatever this particular condition is. And let's see if there are any other ICD con concepts. Again, it's the same thing. These are some of the diseases and the names of the bacteria which causes these infections, right? So I think it did, again, a decent analysis. It told us what all it has. If you scroll down, right, it actually tells you that this is probably one of the drugs, like see the injection over here. This is like another one of the drugs over here. So both of these are two drugs that are available. So this is really good. It actually gave us significant amount of information about this piece of text that I guess I didn't know actually anything about. One of the other areas that probably you could use this is like if doctor prescribes you a medication or something, you can actually go online and probably look at the medication and then bring it over here to see, you know, what is the cause? Are there any side effects? What's the dosage, et cetera. And actually it can tell you a whole lot of stuff about, you know, this, that particular medication, right? And let's see if it has anything mentioned over here in application integration. This is the API call and this is the API response. So this is pretty decent. And I think it did a pretty decent job, right? So. This is of course English. And if you have any other additional information, you can definitely refer to that as well. So guys, I hope that you like this demo. It is really very simple. Now I actually demoed this over here on, on, on the console, but you can use that this very same piece of text and leverage the APIs. And as you see, this is the response that you will get for this particular piece of text. So this is a pretty neat, handy service team. Do explore it and let me know uh, what your thoughts are. Okay, so till then, take care. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.